Good morning. Happy Thursday. It is my Monday, the beginning of my work week. And I always try, if not any other day than today, to ground myself to sit under my lights and just breathe and be ready for my work day, my work week, putting the intention for every moment to be filled with that healing presence, to be filled with love, to be filled with joy, to be filled with happiness so that it can transcend and um, you know that love can just flow freely and effortlessly through me. So the person on the other side of me, the patient, whoever it is, coworker, whoever it is, I am open to let that um, energy to flow. And um, and as we go through this life, and we're in the position to be, you know, in full communication and full contact, hand on hand contact with our patients, with our friends, with whoever, put the intention. For that person to just release what doesn't serve them for yourself also we do it for ourselves i always like to use the analogy that if we're in a plane and i'm always frequently in planes now the last um, year and a half that when they drop the oxygen they give you this you know a little quick lesson when the oxygen drops take that first breath for yourself and then you're able to help others and then you're able to assess because you've had the oxygen you have the full you know coherent ready brain so it's always that intention to feed yourself first nurture yourself first cleanse yourself first protect yourself first and then you know and then you do to others children family because if we're not our full selves then how can we be anything for anyone else so feed yourself first love yourself first Ground yourself first, protect yourself first. Every living day, every day that you can feel that moment, just give gratitude for it. Even in the bad moments, think, what is it that I can learn from this? Because that is what they're meant to do. You know, we are meant to learn and to grow from those moments. And trust me, I've had a lot of those moments where I'm like, oh God, what now? I know we're meant to, we don't get more than we can handle, but Lord Jesus, so, and I call it out. If you were around me, you know I holler it out. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. God is good. God is great. Do a praise dance. You know, don't be afraid to praise the beautiful energy that's flowing within you. You better believe it. People want to understand why I'm so always lively. I go to these shows. It's free. You're getting to see a live show, a live performance. Maybe one of your favorite actors, singers, whatever. It's a day for you to just release. And I'm happy to be there. Yeah, I'm standing up. I'm dancing. I'm having fun. I'm happy to be there. You know, that's it. Like, that's it. I am happy in every moment. I'm grateful in every moment. Because I've had those moments where I'm like, hold my head and ball moment. Yes, yes, yes. So... I give glory to every moment that is not a dark moment, that is not a stressful moment. I give it glory. So let me stop talking. Let's go. I got to go to work. Take some nice deep relaxing breaths. Receive those breaths. This is my tuning fork. And our cells love this. Our cells want to just be harmonized.
go guys we can't hold on i feel like so many people just holding on to that anger and holding on you don't know what that person did to me you don't understand and you're just angry it's just tense you just you can't even feel the love and joy around you you can't appreciate anything so that's what i'm feeling now that we need to release we have to release that anger heal ourselves heal ourselves heal ourselves and allow the higher self to help you and assist you as you heal. But we have to release. So let's release. this ocean drum it does it to me every time oh my god I can just feel like all that beautiful energy just washing through my heart like whoo take some nice deep breaths and just allow this energy to now flow as we become centered Deepest love and gratitude. Relax back into your space, into your now. And whatever it is you have felt, you have learned about yourself in the last few moments, releasing, receiving. Just allow that beautiful energy to flow through you, giving love, giving gratitude. I'm so grateful for another day that I can be here, that I can share this beautiful love and light with you. And thank you, thank you, thank you for all the beautiful feedback. I can't even tell you, like, you know me, I get so excited. I'm like, yay! When someone says, oh, I needed that. When someone says, that really, really moved me. I felt it. And thank you for the more interaction on my YouTube page from people. So I'm very, very grateful, guys, that... Um, this energy is, that's all it's meant to do, to reach others and to help others. And I pray always for that beautiful love and light to flow effortlessly through these hands, to bring love and healing and comfort to others, to my patient, to anywhere that I am that it is meant to flow. I walk with my tuning forks. I try to have that with me. Um, and that's it. So I'm hopping out of here to work. I'm not going to work with this, but I woke up in that energy of trying to make myself feel vibrant and happy. Because after three days off, it's like, you're like, oh, you know, you want to stay laid up. You want to stay just relaxed. But we have to go. We all got to make that effort to go and push ourselves. So, namaste, namaste, namaste to you. Find a way to bring some light into your life. Even if it's manually lighting a candle and sitting there and just watch that light flicker. And put all your intentions of releasing into that light. See it be burnt away. See it be carried up into the flames. And then feel that beautiful light being reabsorbed into you in positivity. To clear all stagnant energies from you. And just, you know, we have to put the intention. Put the intention to clear ourselves. Clear our bodies, you know. When we take a shower, don't just shower and rush in there and get out. Put the intentions, I'm releasing all that's attached to myself. I'm releasing all that doesn't serve me. 
wash it off manually, not just in your mind. Do it, say it, clear yourself. Clear that throat chakra, clear your third eye. You know, you want clarity, clear your mind. You want clarity, you want your own intentions to be, you know, fully, fully glorified, fully put forth. You know, clear your own self, clear your heart, clear the physical parts of you, your lymph nodes. Like put that intention, you wanna release all that's in this heart that's holding on so tight, you wanna clear it out. You know, your solar plexus, clear it out, cleanse it, release it. This is your life force. This is your self-esteem. Clear that area right beneath the breastbone here, right above the stomach area. And then go to that sacral chakra. Your divine feminine, your divine masculine. Also clear all the organs there in your stomachs, these unseen, you know, folds in here. Clear the colon, clear all, go learn all the organs that are behind there. You know, you're responsible to know what's there, how your body functions. So clear all of that. Clear all that we hold there. Clear our divine feminine, our divine masculine. Clear all the shame that we hold for whatever has happened to us in our past. We need to release and stop sitting, sitting on all of that, carrying all of that. Then we have our root chakra. Clear, clear our financial stability. Clear our safety. You know, clear down, clear and remove everything. The past is what holds in our knees. Clear that. Put the intention, and I'm dusting away this, my knee. Some of us, we need to just rake it off because we have, we're dragging our past with us. So clear all that area around your knees. Release. Put the intention and say it out loud. I want to release all that doesn't serve me. I want to release all past lifetimes, all energy that's negative and stagnant around our knees that's holding us back. Grab it, pull it, and release it into the freaking flame, the violet flame, and burn that. Burn that shit. Burn it all. Clear down our legs. Clear our path. Our foot chakras. Our divine feminine all in this beautiful earth. And receive it. The divine feminine. The divine masculine to the soles of our feet. And may it be balanced, guys. We need balance. We need homeostasis. That's a word we learned way, way back in um, science homeostasis we want to be in that homeostasis that equilibrium that balance so let's try for that because it all begins within it all begins within us so let's go i'm gonna stop preaching i'm taking off my rabbit ears and i'm not probably probably put on my little hat for today people love my little hat and i'm gonna put on my hat today <sighs> Call it my thinking cap. My little purple hat. Yay! See how quick that is? Boom, and I'm ready to go. Hit the road, Jack. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to heal. Let's go. Mwah. Love and light. Blessings flow. Have a wonderful, wonderful day, guys. Namaste.